it's Sneako B. Here was something a little different uh, again. <laughs> Uh, so yes, uh, first before I go into what I'm doing here, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for all the really nice comments you said. I'm really glad you enjoyed the latest Council of, of Voices video. I, I did pu I put probably like over 40 hours of like editing into that. Like it was really a pretty absurd amount of time I put it, but it's, pro it's probably totally overkill I think. But uh, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, and people keep asking, you guys are asking, you know, like, will I do more? Of course, absolutely. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, too. Um, I was just really happy that I pretty much was able to get everything out that I, I wanted to, you know? I, I was afraid. I almost cut out the song at the end just because, I don't know, I I was getting pretty burnt out by that point. But uh, I'm glad I stuck it in there and I, I kept it. And, uh, anyway, I'm... Thank you guys. Thank you guys for the the sweet comments, and it really makes me makes me proud to be to make videos for my picky penguin. You know. Anyway, so what for what I'm doing now? So this is sort of following in the same light as the uh, Akinator video I did. When I did the Akinator, I was sort of like, I don't really know what to call this. When you guys brought up something I thought was a really good idea, you said, this, "I'm essentially just sort of like." It's like kind of like getting to know me. Well, in Akinator's case, it was going through and you know looking myself up, but also just sort of discussing what Akinator talks about and stuff. And uh, and you propose, one of you propose that uh, I should start calling these like Let's Bond. And I really like that idea. I think that's a really cool idea. And I, I think it would be sort of fun because then we could sort of like, we could all get to know each other. You guys get to know me a little bit more and then I can get to know some of you guys a bit more, you know? So I thought a perfect thing for this, uh, this I guess, sub-genre of Let's Play would be a site like this called it's called either. Basically, it's a would you rather site. So it gives you two th options and you just pick would you rather do this or this one. And then after you picked it, it'll let you know what percentage of people picked it. And I thought I'd do some of these for, uh, with you guys. I know you probably, I know you probably are like, like, Nico, where's the latest Edgeworth investigations or something. But it's New Year's and I know technically I put the Council of Video, Voices, I keep saying Council of Video, Council of Voices video up, uh, pretty close to New Year's, but I thought I'd do this as well, just sort of as like a little fun thing. And and I, I think it would be interesting. I, so what I'd like you guys to do also is sort of alongside me when, you know, in the comments below, I want you guys to let me know what, what would you pick? What would you have picked for these, you know? Assuming there aren't, <laughs> I don't know. I've never, really, I've never actually done this one before. I, I had done the Akinero before, but I haven't done this. So I don't really know what to expect. I'm hoping the questions are totally stupid, but um, hopefully more thought provoking than, would you rather have boobs or vagina? All right, so here we go. First question, would you rather go back in time and correct the single biggest mistake of your life, or go way back in time and come up with the Pythagorean theorem before Pythagoras so you can have an equation named after you? Oh, okay, we're off to a wrecking great start. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't, know, I didn't realize this was, would you rather do something really, really awesome or do something really fucking stupid? <laughs> oh, wow, I'm sorry. It's gonna be, I bet it'd be like 90% of people pick this. Yeah, all right. A lot. So, who the fuck gives a shit about this? I'm serious. Who the fuck would pick this? Who the fuck is gonna be like? They're sitting in school and they're like, "Oh my god, the Thagorean theorem wouldn't it be so great if that were named after me." <laughs> how about how about this? How, what's the, the biggest mistake of your life? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, that's a that's food for thought. What would be the biggest mistake of my life? Uh, <laughs> not investing in Apple more. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, next one. Would you rather see how you die or see who you will marry? Definitely see, I think I would definitely want to see who I marry. I don't want to see how I die. I so you, I, I would say marry. Yeah, oh wow, yeah, okay, that was a big one. Okay, so far I'm uh, in the green. Uh, would you rather be Wilma Flintstone, be Velma from Scooby-Doo the <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay, now we're, now we're entering the stupid zone. Oh my god, I should answer this question as Kamena because this is so bananas. Would I rather be Wilma Flintstone or Velma from Sk- Wow. Oh, uh, well, on the one hand, I get to hang out with my big, sexy Fred. Oh, Freddy, you're so, you're so hot. Oh my god, you and your big ass feet. But then again, if I'm Velma from Scooby-Doo, I'll have boobs and I can play with them. And then I have glasses and I get to play with the big dog who talks to me. Oh. Give me do all the way. Oh wow! That, wow, yeah. Fuck you, Wilma Flintstone. 
Okay, good guy. Can we get some better questions? Okay, would you rather eat a five course meal in front of 10 starving children? Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so horrible. That's so fucking horrible. Okay, or steal the bucket from five Salvation Army Santas. Ooh, ooh. I gotta go with this one. I gotta go steal the bucket. Like, the, this one made me cringe. This one would be bad, but I don't know. Just like, just imagine that. Just imagine 10 star children like, like, please, please, sir, please, we're dying. You're like, no way. Fuck you, you little shit. Like, just, just imagine how horrible that'd be. I don't know. Santa, I mean, I don't know. Just like imagine like a Salvation Santa. I mean, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Maybe the Salvation Santa's a jerk. A jerk, you know, you feel better. Hey, come over here and donate, you little fucks. All right, I picked that one. All right, that was a little more divided. Would you rather magically flip genders every year? Okay. Be forced to move and start fresh every year. Ooh, okay, here we go. Now we're getting into some shit. That, that's like, whoa. Now that makes me think. That really makes me think. Magically flip, flip genders every year. Oh, you bet you how fucking just like mind fucky that would be just wake up one day and like oh my penis is gone and i got boobs okay well i guess i'm I, i'm gonna start making out with dudes now let's go <laughs> although I, I guess i could just keep going with girls Giggity. or would i rather have to move and start fresh again every year that would that would suck though that would really suck because you make friends with people and stuff i mean i suppose if you're a traveler you probably do that anyway but uh, I don't know. Again, they both—they both are like changing your life essentially. You know, every year is like a new beginning. Uh, I probably would go with this one. Oh, oh, oh! I got the negative sound on that one. I just look Jumper's there. That would freak me out. I don't know. Just for me, like, if like just to look down all of a sudden, like I'm a girl, like that would mind fuck me to oblivion. I wouldn't be able. To, I don't think I would be able to handle that. Like, like no. Oh God, why? No, no! What do I do? <laughs> I mean, I'm supposed to just be like, oh god, look, I got boobs and now, you know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I could. It's, it's like I think I don't know if I can really do that about like myself. You know, it's like I don't know. I don't personally get like turned on by my own body or something. I don't think that would happen if I like just suddenly turned into a girl. Maybe for a second, I'd be like, whoa, cool, you know. But like, but then I'd be like, okay, okay, I think I'm over it now. Would you rather fight Hulk Hogan? Oh fuck me, fight Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh my god, fight Hulk Hogan. At least I, I, Hulk Hogan's getting old, man. I mean, I could at least sort of feel like I'd have, I I would get hurt a little less, I feel like. Dude, have you seen Dwayne The Rock Johnson's arms? They're bigger than my head. They're huge. I mean, Hulk Hogan's huge too, don't get me wrong, but he's, he's getting older, you know, like, I, so I imagine it would be just slightly less painful. Oh, barely, baby, barely. Ah, oh. if you were a TV executive, would you rather resurrect your favorite cancel show of all time for one season or cancel your most hated show Ooh. Ooh. that is a conundrum indeed but I don't know I mean if it's while there have been a good there have been a handful of shows that have been like canceled because they were even though they were really good they just didn't get like enough views or something I don't know it makes you wonder I mean would they if if they came back would it still be as good as it was you know Cancel your most hated show. Is there any show that I really hate though that I would be like, like fuck this show, you know? I want it to die. I mean, if it's if I don't like the show, I'm just not gonna watch it. So probably this one. Yeah. Oh wow, that was surprise. Wow, look how narrow that was. Really? I I don't know. I don't really see cancel your most hated show. Like, is there a show you really hate that you just want to be like, it needs to die? <laughs> I can't think of anything. I mean, there's shows I don't like, but I just don't watch them. Would you rather have a very attractive spouse that treats you badly? Okay, that sounds horrible. Or have an ugly spouse that adores you. <laughs> Fuck it. That. Good. <laughs> Thank God. If, okay, if there were a majority of this, I would have kind of lost faith in humanity a bit. <laughs> Seriously, who the fuck would pick this? I mean, it's like, this is... Would you rather be in incredibly vain <laughs> or not? That's pretty essentially what this question is. Seriously, that's like... I mean, good God. It's like, you know, there's more to... More than happiness with a loved one than, you know, having a beautiful, looking amazing or something, you know, being a supermodel. Would you rather save Abraham Lincoln or save JFK? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that nearly made it. Yeah. 
I don't dislike JFK, but I, I mean, he was kind of, let's be honest, JFK was a bit of a player, you know? I mean, you know what, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, he deserved to get shot in the head, but he was like, I don't know if he was really the best human being on the planet. I think Abraham Lincoln, for what I at least can tell, I think he was a probably pretty good guy, you know? Then again, I don't know, there was more news coverage on JFK than there was on Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Well, Jimmy, and they didn't have cameras back then. Would you rather have extreme narcolepsy or have a bad case of Tourette's? Ooh. I probably have to go with this one. Ooh. Ooh, I'm on the I'm the losing side of that one. I essentially be I essentially be jockey, essentially, right? <laughs> but I don't know. I, I guess I'm more self-conscious. I, I, I don't know. I don't I wouldn't want to be going around and be like, you know, yelling out of profanities or it's not always profanities, it's, know, it's a lot of times it's just other things, but. I don't know, I guess I'm sort of self-conscious about that stuff. Would you rather win the lottery or live twice as long? Hmm. Hmm. Well, here's the thing about the whole immortality or, you know, twice as long thing. If everyone else around me lives twice as long or lives immortally, then, okay, I might be able to roll with that. But if I'm the only one that does it, then it's not worth it in my opinion. First off, you're... You know, I don't, it depends if I'm, if I get old, if I just keep getting old, but I never die, that would turn sort of a hell, wouldn't it? But also, it's just like, all the people, your loved ones around you just die, dying around you, while you live forever. That's like, that's just like hell right there. But like, oh my God, it's just, you know, I mean, I, I think to a point that would not be, that would be unfavorable. So I'd have to, I'd say, I'd have to go with winning the lottery. Oh yeah. All right. There we go. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think living. Being immortal is really is. Oh, it's probably cracked out to be. Crack, cracked up to be. <laughs> cracked, I said crack. Oh, cracked out to be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been hanging out with Gano a little too much. Would you rather have X ray vision or have laser vision? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, would I rather. Would I rather be a pervert or a badass? <laughs> That's the question. Hmm. Well, again, though, what would I do with laser vision? You know? Like. I mean, it's kind of cool, but like, what am I gonna do with it? Am I gonna, unless I'm feel like going around and just blow shit up or just murder the shit out of people? Like, I don't know. I mean, at least this one, I would sort of get some like, 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 like. Wow, <laughs> that girl's really pretty. Uh, no, I shouldn't. I. Uh, damn it! Damn you, horny thoughts! Ah, I'm sorry. Ah, I hate myself. Ah. <laughs> I would hate myself, but. Oh, there. <laughs> Ah, look at how horny everybody is. Got a lot of people do these, don't too, don't they? Look at this. So many people. Would you rather have to hold your pee all day or have to go pee every five minutes? Uh. Ooh. Uh, I would. The sec, this one. Oh! Oh! Shit! Really? No way! I would. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong, that'd be annoying. Uh, but, like, if you had to hold your pee in all day, like, you would get a fucking bladder infection. That shit would probably kill you. I mean, that would be painful. You'd be having a pee, baby. That feeling like, ah, ah. <laughs> but I would, uh, yeah, I would. You know, if that's the case, I just had a catheter. Or, yeah, is that right? Is that right? Catheter? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we just have that where, you know, you just, like, pee whenever you want. I just have a cat, or, like, a, ca a catheter, yeah. I'd have that in me all the time. That'd solve my problem. Would you rather spend a day in the Sahara Desert or spend a day in the North Pole? Uh, I actually prefer being cold than hot, so I would say this one. All right, cool. I don't know, but yeah, what do you guys feel? I, I've always preferred, I've always preferred the cool than being hot. Because if I'm cool, I can just put a blanket on myself, you know? When I'm hot, I gotta like, I don't know, strip down naked, just uh, sit in front of a fan, wave my junk around. Just kidding. Would you rather get B's and C's in Ivy League school, get A's at Standard University? I think in the end, this is probably end up equating to the same thing, right? <laughs> I mean, you, you could say, oh, I went to Ivy League, but it's like, how, well, your grades were pretty so-so. Probably say this one. Yeah. Would you rather be muscular with a busted face or be busty with a gorgeous face? <laughs> oh, this one, baby. All the way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I want to, I want to get myself a big old pair of titties. <laughs> ah. Oh my god! And that's a bit, that's a sight nobody wanted to see. No, but everyone in the comments is like, oh, oh, get out of my head! Oh, ah. 
Would I rather own 10,000 Mr. Heads or play Fallout 4? Okay, well, Fallout 4, duh. Fucking duh. <laughs> Would you rather marry a 10 year old and have a faithful relationship while receiving $100,000 per year or not? <laughs> Your relationship would have to be a normal relationship, marriage. You can't have other involvements. And it would not, it would not be convicted. Uh, not. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 what the fuck? No, no. Well, I guess you could say, well, yeah. Well, no, it's like you have to have a normal marriage. So that means that would, that would involve coitus. So you can't be like, well, we just wouldn't have sex or have any kind of like, no bullshit, man. Cause the thing says you gotta have a normal marriage. Oh my God. Really? The majority is still yes. Fuck! No! That's horror! That's- Ew! That's so weird! Ew! Ah! Oh, this- Why? Why? 439,450 people? Why? Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like, really? It's, I guess uh, they're just like, they're like, fuck it, don't give a shit, I'm making $100,000 a year, I don't give a- I can buy myself somebody else! I, don't, <laughs> I guess that's what they're thinking. I mean, what? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I mean, that's not, I mean, honestly, even 100,000, I mean, that's like, that's good. It's not like, like, holy shit, I'm making like, you know, a million dollars per year or something. Like, it's not even, I, I don't understand why. Why would you do this? Why did it, why? No. Ah. Would you rather eat only salad for the rest of your life or eat only fruits for the rest of your life? Fruits, fuck, yeah. Oh man, I knew everybody. Come on, let's be honest, I mean, I think almost everybody prefers fruits over fucking vegetables, all right? I mean, I don't dislike vegetables, I don't. But I like fruits a lot better, a lot more, so. Would you rather? <laughs> oh my God, this is not even gonna be a, this night, this isn't gonna be it. Would you rather be the president or be a Pokemon trainer? Who the fuck wants to be the president? I'm serious. Seriously, just think about it. Think about what that entails, all right? Like, at least half the country will fucking hate your guts, at least. All right, they're gonna fucking hate you and everything you do forever. You know, you're gonna constantly have the media shitting on you unless you're a Democrat. <laughs> In which case, it's just Fox News that shits on you. I remember I saw an SNL skit that perfectly summarized like that my ideas of the position. Just like it was like somebody was it was being George Bush or something. They were like, seriously, who wants this job? Who the fuck wants this job? Okay, if this if this somehow manages to beat this, I'll okay go. Who the f 34, that's even more than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be some ridiculous, like 10%. Seriously, and who the fuck would want to be a Pokemon trainer? That's awesome. Assuming, you know, you're not like a, like a real Pokemon trainer. You're not like a crazy person who thinks he's a Pokemon trainer and is like throwing plushies out of balls. <laughs> I cheated you, Pikachu. I tried you to a battle. Like checking balls, people. Ah, oh God, ah. Would you rather be one foot smaller than you are right now or be one foot taller than you are right now? Oh, fuck me, smaller. I, I am six foot three, guys. I mean, like, I mean, I already have, like, problems sometimes, and I'm, like, if I'm, like, lying in some beds, especially, like, hotels, I will end up being too tall, my feet will end up digging off the edge, and I'm, like, fuck me. It really isn't, like, people are, like, oh, man, it's so great. It's, like, I hate being short. I wish I was super tall. It's not really all that great, on honestly, you know? I mean, it, unless you're playing basketball or something, you know, playing to be a basketball player. I mean, a lot of times, you'll just, like, start fitting stuff. <laughs> so, if I had to, yeah, smaller. What? What? Oh. Wow, holy, I guess this must be short people problem. See, no, you don't understand. You don't understand 46,671 people. I oh, this one many, they didn't have many people vote on this one yet, did they? You don't understand. You, you don't understand tall people problems, all right? All right, it's, oh, it's, I mean, that'd be seven, three. That would be huge. I guess I could, yeah, I guess I could be a professional athlete or something, but I mean, I'm not, I've never been very good at sports. This would, I would be shit at this. Ah, oh, fuck that. I want to be able to fit in stuff. Okay, here we go. This is the last one, guys. Would you rather never again play a game on your computer or never again play a console or portable de video device game? Now, personally, this is an easy one for me because I'm essentially, I'm essentially doing this one right now. <laughs> like, I literally hardly ever play uh, on my consoles anymore. I used to do it all the time. I used to be, man, but I feel like, I feel like this might be sort of a, a possible progression, you know, but that of people moving away from consoles because like now like computers have caught up and they're like just as good and a lot of ways they're better because you can mod, usually the graphics are better if you have a good enough system, you know, I, I don't know, I honestly would, with this one, yeah, I, 
I know it's sort of like the PC Master Race or whatever shit, you know, but I think it's just like, it's more of a thing convenience. Not to mention a lot of the games I play, it's a lot more convenient for me to be able to record it on my desktop than have to do it uh, with the, I, I told you guys before, with Elgato game capture device. Okay, so that was Would You Rather. Hope you all learned a little something about me today. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys have to say about a uh, number of these. I, I'm very interested, really. I want to hear what you guys uh, have to say. Um, you guys can talk about it in the comments. Don't fight about it. Just If someone has an opinion that's not yours, don't shit on them or anything. Just be nice. <laughs> but I know you guys are you guys are always nice. All right. I still think I can submit a question. Can I? Oh, I have to sign in. Oh, poop. Well, okay. Just for, just for funsies. I'm not going to submit it on here, but I'm going to ask you guys a question now from, from me. Which would you rather eat? Bagels? Or waffles. Bumpa. Which will you choose, the light or the dark? Pick your side. <laughs> anyway, like, free, rejoice. Subscribe now to become Pinky Bing One aboard the SLB. The days are always sunny, and the vids are always funny. I had a really great year with you guys. I honestly, I think this was one of the best years for this channel. I don't know. It was just so much fun. We had so, I had so many, so many good times, and I really, I look forward to another wonderful year with you all so here's 2016 i hope you guys have a great new year's and as always guys stay classy